Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we bring to you an amazing shipping container cabin designed using only two 20-foot shipping containers to create 700 plus square feet of habitable space. Stay tuned to find out how we managed to achieve that. Good, welcome back. If this is the first time you are watching any of our videos, you are encouraged to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have over 100 videos on shipping container homes designs and shipping container design ideas to get you inspired. Remember to click on the bell so that you don't miss any of our amazing weekly videos whenever we upload them. Without further ado, let's get started. This amazing design is basically achieved by using two 20-foot shipping containers that have been placed 5 meters apart to create an amazing open space that can be used as either an outdoor eating, dining or lounging space or it can be covered like what you've done in this particular design to create an amazing open plan living space. So with this arrangement, you basically accommodate a given set of functions in one shipping container and the remaining container to accommodate another set of functions that are complementary and then to use the space in between as an open plan living room. So. What are the salient features that we managed to accommodate on this amazing shipping container design? So from what you've managed to do here is that uh, we've managed to accommodate the wet core of the house in one 20-foot shipping container that is comprising the open plan kitchen which has overhead cabinets to provide adequate storage space. We also have uh, a small laundry space adjacent to it and also next to it we also have a small full bathroom yeah so the laundry space and the bathroom space have been fitted with pocket sliding doors to basically make it easy to manage the limited space inside that shipping container the other 20-foot shipping container is located on the opposite side and it basically accommodates the two bedrooms which have been fitted with full wardrobe spaces and they are accessed using sliding pocket doors to basically help us minimize on space wastage and also to effectively access the limited bedroom space inside those shipping containers. The space that is enclosed between the two shipping containers is being utilized as an open plan living space. So you have a nice lounge space, you have a small romper space and a dining table that can sit a maximum of six. The structure and modifications. Uh, on this particular design, we basically retained the two shipping containers in the original form with very minimal modifications save for the internal walls that are perforated to create pocket sliding doors for the bedrooms and also to create an open kitchen space to interlink with the open plan living room and therefore you find that other than that the remaining window sizes are optimal and they don't require any special modifications. The space in between the two shipping containers has been roofed with a skillion roof to basically protect the space under that from direct weather elements and also to enhance the conventional currents that can allow for cross ventilation 
to help us regulate the temperature under that particular space. The open sides are fitted with full height sliding folding doors to allow us to open up the space to allow in cool breezes especially for tropical climate and also for security and protection. You can use any type of roofing material you find appropriate yeah, depending on your location and also on your climate. So when it comes to interior design you are basically encouraged to observe minimalist interiors on your furnishings. You should also do the same when it comes to the colors you use. Light colored finishes are always encouraged to help you kill the claustrophobic feel of living in a shipping container house and also to make your space look brighter and bigger. We also did an interesting thing by using very large windows to basically have the space awash with light to help us give you that feel of airiness and spaciousness. When it comes to materials, you can use different materials, especially for the midsection, whereby you can explore what you feel is appropriate for you, depending on your country, depending on the cost, and also on personal preference. On the sustainable design elements that we can look at include one, the use of solar energy because this is designed as an off-grid cabin therefore solar energy is encouraged and you can also use solar hot water heating system and this is very well catered for by retaining the shipping container roof as it is and therefore you find that is a very ideal location for placing those two uh, green gadgets. You can also leave the containers with the original colors and markings to help you preserve its original character in terms of charm and history and also reduce the use of paints for a fresh coat of external color and finish. Yeah, the containers also have used an elevated foundation done using steel piers to basically also allow for cross ventilation on the underside to also help you regulate the underflow temperature of your shipping container house. You will also need to look at insulation and temperature control strategies for your shipping container cabin and therefore you need to consider the climate where you want to build. If you are building in the tropics, you need to keep away heat from your shipping container cabin as much as possible and if you are building in the cold and temperate climate areas, you need to keep away moisture and also retain heat as much as possible. So choose an appropriate insulation material that is applicable for your climate. We've also provided you with a cost estimate checklist to guide you with your own shipping container project. So feel free to go through it. If there's anything you feel is missing, feel free to add. And if there is an over provision, remove what is not necessary so that you can have a comprehensive list that can suit your own project. If you like this design and you'd want to fabricate exactly what you are seeing or with any modifications, feel free to contact us on our website sheltermode.com. You can get these blueprints to guide you with your own shipping container project. The blueprints come as a full set of drawings in PDF and in DWG format and they come as full plans both the layout plans, the foundation plans, you'll have the roof plan and all the elevations plus the section details. So what do you like about this amazing shipping container cabin? Kindly let us know your opinion by posting in the comments below. You can also contact us on our social media pages. We are on Facebook, we are on Instagram, you can also follow us on Twitter or on Pinterest. Just type the word shelter mode and you will be able to find us on social media. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you get more of such 
amazing shipping container designs. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.